Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about um, basically what happened to me yesterday. I thought it was actually really funny because uh, yesterday it was the Halloween dance for Alta High School, and it was it was fun. Yeah, it was just, okay. It, honestly, it wasn't really that fun. I thought the DJ was horrible. All they did was play remixed songs, and I just hate them. I just hated them. And only played two slow songs. Two. Out of the entire, like, three hours that we were there. What up with that? Anyways. So, that was actually my first Girls' Choice dance that I've ever been to. Don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm just so likable that everybody thinks that I already have a date when I don't. I don't really know, but hey, that could be the case. Anyways, so yeah, we for a day activity, we um, went to IHOP for lunch. That was good. Um, it kind of sucked because it was actually, my teeth still hurt a little bit from my new braces. Um, but other than that, I think my day was really good on, uh, and then after IHOP, we went back to a friend's house to get our costumes on, well, finish getting our costumes on, stuff like that. And, also, and the funny thing is, when we were in IHOP, we were actually, uh, me, my date, and the other girl that was actually at IHOP with us. We're just sitting, we're in our costumes. And I thought it was really funny because it was just us three in our costumes. And then everybody else was just dressed regularly. But one of the one of the weirdest things I've ever seen at IHOP happened to me yesterday. Well, just anywhere I would say. Is I'm sitting we're sitting down at our table, and all of a sudden we happen to look over as this other table is leaving. And what happened was there was this person, I'm not sure if it was a girl or a guy, because, well, let me just describe him, him or her, or, I'm going to call it an it. Okay, so, um, when it stood up, they, that, it had, basically, sh uh, shortcut hair, like guys, um, Baggy, I had a baggy shirt, baggy tie-dye shirt, a skirt on, a skirt, I literally mean a skirt on, mini, mini skirt, and then had, like, those strap things that go on, like, lingeries on the thigh, and then fishnet leggings from then on, from, like, half the thigh down, it was also in heels. But then when they came up to us and they talked to us for like like three seconds, it was like, hey, I like your costume. And they said, hey, I like your guys' costumes. We were like, oh, yeah, we like your, we like your shirt and everything like that. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We couldn't tell if it was a guy or a girl. His voice was kind of looked like a guy's, though. So we think it was a guy who probably lost a horrible, horrible bet. And I feel sorry, if it's a guy, I feel really sorry for him. But also, according to my friend who was sitting next to me, he had really nice legs. Like, girlish legs. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. But anyways, back to the day. Um, after that, we, after we went to Becca's house, and had, ha, my friend's house, had fun, then we went to Corn Bellies, still in our costumes, yeah, we, we rolled that way, so, we went to Corn Bellies, had a little fun there, went through the Corn Maze, um, after that, we went to Zupa's, still in our costumes, Another stupid thing that people that the people that I was with were doing 
I don't know what we were, what they were thinking. If they decided to snort salt and pepper, why? Because they are stupid. They were stupid. They even said it was painful, and then another person tried it. Why? Why? They're like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Well, there's some of them like that. Some of them are like, oh, it's not that bad. Oh, oh. But then they said, somebody else tried it before them. Before, like, I think it was, like, either earlier that day or the day before or something like that. And it was like, and they even said it was her, and, like, their nose, nose turned red or purple. And I was like, why would you want to try that? Seriously. You're just... Dooming yourself. You're just stupid. And you're also saying bad example. Well, I didn't do it. I just said, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not that stupid. Anyway, so then we went to the dance. And, like I said, the DJ was kind of dumb. I hit lame and all that. I, I didn't really like it. I had fun there. I mean, got to dance with my date. She, um, she was very pretty and all that in her Templar costume. My costume was the Ezio Auditore da Firenze from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and she was also the temp. Then she was the Templar from Assassin's Creed, uh, one of the female Templars. So I thought that was kind of funny. Anyways. So then after the dance, we went back to my date's house for a movie. And we were all just kind of like, okay, she has like over 400 movies to decide from. So we're like, okay, what do we want to watch? I don't know. Name one and then watch it. We're like, oh, I don't know. Let's watch a horror movie. I was like, well, we don't have any, that much of horror movies. So we're like, and she's like, oh, I have Netflix. I was like, all right, we're going Netflix. So then after Netflix, more Netflix, we're like, okay, in the horror movies. First movie that comes up, Insidious. We're like, all the guys are like, yeah, let's watch it, let's watch it. And back, um, one of my friends, back, Becca, she's interesting. Like, okay, let me. She works at a haunted house. And yet, she's real. She gets scared really easily, which it doesn't make sense to me. You would think the person like scaring people doesn't get that scared, but nope. I don't know. Anyways, so she's screaming, "No, I don't want to watch Insidious." But we took a vote. We ended up watching Insidious. So then, like, okay, uh, we got like just. I think a little bit more than halfway through the movie, and we saw the Darth Maul's face because, like, the spoof alert. The if you haven't seen the movie, anyways, the demon is like his face looks like Darth Maul's face. It's like red and black and all that, like stripes or something like that. And everybody screamed, like all the girls screamed, all the guys were like, oh my gosh, that looks like Darth Maul. Like, we knew it was coming, so, but uh, none of the girls, or at least none, or at least half of the girls didn't know that it was coming. Anyway, so, right after that, I had to take one of my friends home. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I can do that. Uh, so we're coming out, and then just as I get up, just before I get on the main road, <laughs> we see this kid. I'm guessing he came from Alta or something like that, from the Alta Dance or something like that. Because he had red and black face paint on. This is not. I'm telling you the truth. This. Everybody in the car is freaking out. Like, what the crap? Oh, like, we're. Like, I'm even starting to be freaked out a little bit too because. We just saw the movie, we just got halfway through the movie and we saw the Darth Maul face. And all of a sudden, we pull up to the side of the road with this kid, or guy, or whatever, on the side of the road with the same face paint. It's like, what? Anyways, so we drive off really fast. And I'm like, okay, 
I'm laughing my head off because that this is by this point it's made my night. So then I'm like, okay, well, this was hilarious. And then basically that was my night. That was my day. And yeah. And also the person who asked me to show a video of my a close up of my braces. I'm probably going to do that either tonight or tomorrow, and then just post a video, um, a short video of it. Anyways, um, that's it. See you guys.